Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Looney Tunes World of Mayhem video. And in this video, have we found the best defensive team in the game? Well, that's what we're going to talk about with these new Knights tunes. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So have we found the best defensive team in the game? We're going to be talking about Bugs the Brave, Sylvester the Brash, Elmer the Sure, and Tweety the Twoo. I've been playing these guys quite a bit over the last few days, and honestly, I am astounded by what I'm seeing. And my guys aren't even maxed out yet. As you can see, they're all level 59. Their tune-up levels are all varying. And then, as you can see, as far as their star levels, their star levels are all varying as well. And I'm going against some very, very strong teams. At the end of this video, I'm also going to post what some of the recent arena um scores other teams scoring against my team at this team as a defensive team we're also going to go into arena going to show you what that looks like uh with another one of my favorite teams so this team's going to be on defense and i'm going to have an offense team and then we're going to go into brawl and then i'm going to show you what the what the ai what the autoplay does for this and what my opponents are seeing with this team now the reason why this team works so well you have bugs the brave whenever whenever he gains taunt he gains damage immunity he also has a heal he heals his allies not himself but his allies sylvester the brash sylvester Bra brash the most important thing about him is um his ability to crit based on the total based on the defense across your entire team. So his crit level is very, very high. Elmer the Sure, he's got a stun. You've got a stun with Bugs the Brave as well. So with this whole team, you got a couple stuns. You got a lot of crowd control here. You got some healing. Bugs the Brave, when he heals, he also gives defense up, which helps Sylvester the Brash. Elmer the Sure also has a heal. He's got his stun like I was talking about. He also has an, a basic attack that ignores dodge. And then Tweety the Twoo, he is able to give defense to the highest defense team member. So if we go into here and we take a look at these two skills here, your sword, three to four attack up for two turns and 35% turn meter gives that turn meter as well to the team member with the highest attack. And then as far as this one here, grant taunt for two turns to the team member with the highest defense. A lot of times that's going to be your tank, which works out well, especially here because Bugs the Brave is gonna get that. Again, it cleanse three, of, uh, three debuffs as well. So there's a lot going for this team, a lot of synergy within in this team, and this team protects each other very well and causes some disturbing damage and uh, puts up a wall to uh, your opponent. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into Arena, and we're going to do one Arena, and then we're going to go into Brawl because I don't want the video to be too long, but then we're going to go into Brawl and show you kind of what our opponents or what my opponents is seeing with this team. All right, so I have my base team there. We'll take a look at what my opponents can score against me here. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and play with my what, uh, my other favorite team. These are my two favorite teams so far. So we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, so I cut all of that out, went straight to the end because I want to be able to show you some other stuff. So I didn't do actually too good in the very first battle that I did here, but let's take a look at what my opponents were able to score against me. And look at this, a 30 and a 19. Let's take a look at the teams that they're using here. There we go, a 49 against my 34. And then let's take a look at this other team here, a 46 against my 34. So that's one run through this. Now we're going to go ahead and go through another one. We'll skip the battles as well and go straight to the results so you can take a look at that. And we'll see what two arenas in a row can score against this team here. And then we're going to run over into Brawl. We're going to take a look at what, how the, how the AI, how the computer plays this team. And uh, then after that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to close out by showing a couple screenshots that I took of or a screenshot that i took of when i did championship arena earlier today and what everybody was able to score against me on that one so 
All right, so here we are with the second one. I'm going to leave my tunes there just the same. Also, let's take a look at the rules really quick, too, because some people may be curious about the rules. Now, the rules in here, um, all, then your defensive teams, teams get plus 10% to all stats. That's everybody. But also, visors down. Night tunes have plus 20 to attack, defense, health, and t plus 10% to speed. That comes into play in here as well. So that is a fair point. However, when we go into Brawl, you also see how it plays out there and why this team is so good. And if it's such a good defensive team, then it probably makes a pretty good offensive team as well. So we're going to go ahead. We'll jump into this. I'll do the same thing. We'll cut out the fight and we'll go straight to the results. And then we're going to run over into Brawl. All right, so as the clock winds down, it looks like we have someone who uh, just refused or did not want to step into the ring, but that's okay. If we take a look at this right here, uh, they scored eight points, so another low score. And let's take a look at the team that they used. That is the team, a 39K team against a 34K team. So let's now go into Brawl. Oh, there it is. Oh, no history. So... Um, let's go ahead, go into Brawl, and we will take a look at how this team performs being used by the AI. We already know how it performs, but we're going to see what our opponents see when they come up against this team. All right, so here we are in Brawl. We have a 34K team. Let's take a look at, um, I don't know, let's see. Let's go with this 36K team right here. I already have all my banks full. There is my team. So let's go ahead, get into the battle. I'm just going to auto it right off the bat. And we're going to see Bugs the Brave first is going to come in with the stun. Brash is, is going to go next. Hopefully get that crit, which he did. Then you saw Tweety give that taunt to Bugs the Brave, which gives him the damage, damage immunity right there, which really comes into play and helps out quite a bit. Then <laughs> you go through some additional moves. You got Tweety the two doing the attack up there. But as you can see... With the defense ups, the crits from Bugs, uh, from Brash here, the heals that Elmer can do himself, even the heals that Bugs the Brash can do for the team, also giving that defense up. You can kind of see what our opponents see when they go up against this this new knight team, and it really does. There's a stun there, but it took him out completely. Um, you can see that this team has a lot of synergy that counts on each other. I think this is probably, I would dare say, arguably the second most synergistic team in the game. The first being um, OG, Granny, and Hector, and Tweety, and Sylvester. That is a great synergistic team. So let's go ahead. Let's jump back in there. Let's do another one. But I really, truly think that this is probably the second best synergistic team in the game. Let's go ahead. Let's go for somebody else. Let's see if we can go a little higher. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do this 40K team. We're going to do the same thing, and we're going to auto battle. And you're going to see the exact same pattern. The computer, and actually the way that these skills are for this team, um, actually works out pretty well. And the computer does play this team fairly well. I mean, look at that. Roadrunner's almost gone already. All right, look at that. We lost, we lost our... Uh, a uh, taunt on Bugs the Brave, but we got it right back with the damage immunity. Roadrunner is out of there. Here comes Sam with a smack upside the head. Look at that. Here we go. Nice crit. Boom. Look at all those defenses. Really gives you that high chance of a crit. Here we go with another stun. We got Bugs stunned over there. Now we got our taunt. So Bugs is out of the way. We got uh, Sam there with the taunt. So we're going to be able to take care of him while Bugs is stunned. And then Bugs is going to be taking a nap here pretty soon. So can you see, this is an exciting team. It's a very fun team to play. You can play it on auto, or you can obviously, you can play it um, manually as well and just kind of use your own strategies and everything that come into play. But there you go. Um, a fantastic team and a lot of fun that I've, I've been having with this team over the last couple days. And um, I really found that that you're able to do a lot with this. You could also mix and match this team with a bunch of other characters that, that really help too. Like a fun one, a fun one, I'll just show you really quick that I've enjoyed. Let's go ahead and brawl. Just a, and, and this isn't an auto team. Uh, let's go, we'll just jump into here. And then I'll take out uh, Elmer the Shure, and then I'll throw in Pharaoh. 
Feral's a great one to add in here. Okay, it's a little unfair because we have two legendary tunes, but it doesn't always work out right because Feral sometimes gets taken out right off the bat. But so what I typically will do in here is boom, I'll do this right here so I can get that damage immunity and that taunt right, of, right off the bat that protects Pharaoh. And then we are going to go after, let's go after uh, this guy down here. Boom, we got him out of the picture. I'm going to save. I'm going to do this attack up, which does go to Brash, but sometimes it goes to Pharaoh as well. And uh, let's go after this guy right here. Um, actually, we're going to stun this guy right here. Western type hero is stunned. Let's go after uh, Yosemite over here. Nice damage there. Now um, I am going to do the heal and the defense up because the more bu uh, the more buffs that you have on Pharaoh, the more damage that he does. Now I've lost that damage immunity. I'm going to go ahead and do that right there. And I got that taunt there that we have to play around with. So there we go. And um, I'm going to save Pharaoh's special. This basic is pretty helpful too. I like it. Having a basic stun with Tweety the Twoo as well. Hopefully this doesn't take him out. Oh! You know, I wanted to show the power of the Pharaoh here. <laughs> but there we go. That right there is a fun team um, to use with this team as well. Just taking out an Elmer and then putting in Pharaoh. Um, have had a lot of fun with that one as well. So there you go, everybody. That's what I had to show you today. The new Knights team does a fantastic job on defense. And by right, it also does a great job on offense, of, uh, on offense as well. So it's a team that you definitely, in my opinion, really want to go for. And uh, with now the path to legendary that you can follow in, in order to get Bugs the Brave, we know what we need to do and we know the tunes that we need in order to unlock him. He's definitely worth it. Um, even at four star, um, he was worth it. So can you imagine getting this team completely maxed out, level and tune up level, everything? I mean, uh, <laughs> this team is uh, almost unbeatable. Now I've seen this team beat before. This is not a perfect team. It depends on the it depends on the opponents and everything that you're going to go up against and how well they're able to counter these guys' moves, their buffs and everything like that. Uh, but I have seen this team lose. But this team does win more often than not. All right, everybody, really curious to know your thoughts on this team. Who is your best and your favorite defensive teams that you use in um, Alliance War and Arena and even to guard your crates? All right, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.